day to you viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now, we did one of those What Your Stars Foretell records a little while ago, and now we've got a Rex record, there you go, of Sandy Powell doing a humorous sketch entitled What the Stars Foretell, parts one and two. I'll turn over halfway through. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star up in the sky so high, telling me just how and what and who and where and why. Hey, ah, Tom, this is that place I bought from Professor Oja. What a funny place, Sandy. What are all those spying glasses for? Well, I look through them. I'm an astronomer, you see. I can look through them and tell by the stars what's going to happen before it does, do you oh, see? That's right. I've heard about it. And you're my assistant, you see. Now, everything must be quiet and mysterious. Aye, ah, like a Sunday afternoon and the pubs close. Yes. Now, you see, you bang that gong when a customer comes in, and then if I can't answer any of their questions, you bang it again, they say. I'll be banging it all the time. Now, then. Tom, we'll just have a little bit of practice. Now, you ask me a question, and I'll consult the stars and tell you the answer. Well, if Easter Sunday falls on Good Friday, what relation is Pancake Tuesday to Sheffield Wednesday? Oh, no, give me an easy one to start with. Ask me the time, or what day will it be on Monday, or something like that. Uh, so. Well, here, will, will the Arsenal beat Preston North End on Saturday? Oh, that's easy. Yes, the stars foretell that the Arsenal will beat Preston North End on Saturday. I don't think they will. Why not? Because they're playing Aston Villa. Oh, go home and tell your mother she wants you. There's a good lad. Here's our first customer, Tom. Good morning, sir. Uh, can you spare me one or two minutes to answer one or two questions about one or two things? Oh, I'll answer four or five questions in six or seven seconds for eight or nine, Bob. I wish to know what the stars predict for this week. Aye, that's right. Be quiet, Tom. There's a good lad. Well, on Monday, Jupiter will appear close to Mars. This is a sign that Father is away. On Tuesday, Venus arrives. This will have the effect of bringing Father back again. Aye, that's right. Shut yeah. up, please. This is my business, not yours. The stars tell us that on Wednesday it will be either wet or fine. Now, on Friday... But what about Thursday? Aye, tell us about Thursday. Don't you interfere. Never mind about Thursday. Friday will be a lucky day for the unemployed. Many will receive a present of money from a government building. Aye, that's right. And what about Saturday? Aye, yes. and what about now, Thursday? Never mind about... Don't be awkward, Tom. Now, Saturday is a most unfortunate day on which to get married. This also applies to any other day in the year to people getting married. Aye, that's right. Tell us about that Thursday. Thursday. Shut up, that Thursday. Sunday will prove a bad day for bookmaking. There will be no racing. Uh, what can you see through that telescope? I can see Venus. Oh, I'd like a peep at her. Ah, that will cost you ten shillings, said I. Ah, that's Venus. right. Shut up. Well, here you are. Now, let me look. There you are, sir. Well, I can't see her. Where is she? Venus is a star. Well, I don't care if she's in the chorus. I want to see her. Tom, hit the gun. And on that note, we ought to go over to the other side. That was quite funny, actually. How oh, very peculiar. There must be something wrong here. Right. Well, what do you think about it, Tom? It's easy. You told him all the answers, didn't you? I did, didn't I? Aye, ah, that's right. Of course, he didn't ask you any questions, though, did he? No, but I told him all the answers just the same, didn't I, Tom? Ah, that's right. Here's a young woman coming. Now, listen, Tom, you've got to be very careful with that gong. If she gets me tied up, hit the gong and break the spell. Ah, be careful your wife doesn't come or she'll break the spell without the gong. Now, if you see Martha coming, hit the gong twice and I can jump through the window. Get ready. Oh, if I only knew, if I only knew. Oh, if only you'd hit on the solution. I can hit on the gong. Oh, my little father. Oh, oh, Jack, the stars foretell you everything. Aye, that's right. Don't interfere, Tom. Fire. Well, 
What dost thou wish to know, madam? That's just it. It's what I want to know that I want you to tell me. Well, I'll tell you what you want to know if you know what you want to tell me you want to know. Ah, that's right. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, that's splendid. Now we know exactly where we are, don't we? Yes, we're just where we started now, aren't we, lady? Oh, but you have a nice, kind face. Yes. Yeah. You have sympathy. Yes. Yeah. You understand a woman's feelings. Yes, I understand, but I don't think Martha would. Ah, that's right. Shut up, Tom. Tell me, please, what is going to happen to me? If Martha comes, I can tell you what's going to happen to me. What do the stars know of love? Uh, what don't they know? They see what goes on every night, you know. Ah, uh, that's right. What do you know about it? Shut up. I want to consult you about love. Tom, get ready with the gong. You see, I'm worried. I'm married. I'm married. That's why I'm worried. Uh, I'm not married, but I'm feeling a bit worried. I'd better hit the gong. Hold my hand and let us see what the stars foretell. Uh, I can tell you that without looking at the stars. Yeah, and I've got a good idea as well. Shut up. Hold me tightly. Yes. Come closer. Oh. And let us look out for the message. Yeah, I think we'll be safer to look out for the message. Ah, oh, that's right. Oh, be quiet, Tom. I know I can trust you. I don't think you can. Oh, shut up. Yes, you can trust me, but I can't trust Martha. I want to ask you something, but I feel so ashamed. And yet I must know. The gun's ready. Don't look at me while I ask you, but please tell me, do you think I'm going to hurt? Tom, hit the gong. What's the death? The magic gong, lady. The spell is broken. I can't tell you anything more now. Ah, that's right. But you can't send me away without telling me. I must know. Do you think I'm going to hurt? It's no good. The stars can't tell you anything about it. But surely they can tell if I'm going to have any luck in the Irish sweet. Is that all you wanted to know? I thought... I so did I. Well, you were both wrong. Ah, that's, that's right. right. Well, that was almost amusing, viewers. Well, the first half was, at least. The rest was sort of uh, typical uh, music hall... Uh, you know, cliches, but never mind. Jolly good anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs>